right, y'all, welcome back to another video with Triple E Smith. As you can see, we're talking about Bryce Canyon because you've seen a few situations before. This. Situations? Yes. Let me be pictures. Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Situations. Situations. Yes, yeah, so All right. just going to take it away and talk a little bit about Bryce Canyon and our charm in where needed. Okay. Right. So we went to Bryce Canyon for a week. Well, we went to the dispersed camping area we were at for a week. We went yeah. to Bryce Canyon for a Sunday and then another Saturday and Sunday over Labor Day weekend. Um, we kind of spread it out, which is the way we like to do our trips. One of the reasons why we RV is so that we don't have to cram everything into a day or two. Mm -hmm. So we left um, Yellowstone, which we'll do here in a little bit, some videos on Yellowstone. We left Yellowstone, we went down uh, through Salt Lake City and cut through Capitol Reef and we cut through Capitol Reef as it was getting dark so we didn't really get to see much in Capitol Reef and then we went down Highway 12 to a dispersed camping area called Tom's Best Spring. Yeah. Um, that Highway 12 drive was in the dark and if you've driven that drive you know there's a couple arch tunnels that were a little bit nerve-wracking to go through in the dark and then we got to Tom's Best Spring which was a great dispersed camping area. So great in fact that it was full. And yes. It took us like an hour in the dark to find a place to camp. And if you've scouted dispersed camping in the dark, it's not really the best time because you can't really see anything off the road. And we eventually settled on a basically a field because of the size of our rig mm -hmm. and because it was flat. And us and another group pulled into this field and shared it for the first weekend while they were hunting. And then we had it to ourselves. We explored the area. The area was really nice. There's lots of camping areas that were really, really nice and cool that were further back in the woods. But, you know, being 13 feet tall and 70 feet long, <laughs> they weren't for us. Not so much. But we did get to ride the bike back there and take the dogs. We had some great footage of it. I don't know where that footage went. Um, it disappeared or who knows what. So anyways, it's a great camping area. Highly recommended. 20 minutes from Bryce Canyon National Park. Then we went and we drove the rim trail yeah. um, one day, which is a nice drive. We got to stop at all the scenic overlooks and look out there and see all the red rocks and the hoodoos and all the other geographic form, uh, formations. <laughs> yeah, formations. Formulas. Sorry. I started to say formula, but it's formation. <laughs> and then another day we went and we walked the rim, um, the main areas of the rim, from sunrise to sunset point. And we actually yeah. took one little loop and we did, we, uh, Kind of did that spur of the moment, no water, no pack, no nothing. So it was a little hot and bothered by the time we got back to the top. Yeah, but we didn't go very far. Yeah, it was only a couple miles. Yeah. And then the last day, which we did have video of it, we went and we did what's basically known as the figure eight. We did Navajo Loop, Peekaboo Loop, um, Queens, something or other. It's in the, it's in the video here coming yeah. up. And then we actually started from one point, ended on the other point, and then had to walk to our car in between them. It was a good hike, um, probably maybe intermediate for that length of a hike. Yeah. Um, intermediate to, to moderate. Um, it wasn't any switchbacks or anything like that, but it was pretty long, if I remember. Yeah, it was a long day. Yeah. Basically because we combined multiple hikes together. Yeah. And you know, we explored a little bit here and there too. Mm -hmm. But it, it was a good hike. Oh yeah, part of it was closed. So there was a section of the can of the the hike that was closed we didn't get to go all the way down to the other end of the canyon because of that um, that's one of the reasons why we did the figure eight instead of just a drop in and continue yeah. around uh, it was a good time um yeti ran into his first <laughs> unfriendly cows while we were there he almost got stomped by a cow while we were camping because yeah. most of this blm land has cows running loose yeti, on it. speaking of uh, him and he's talking to us now and yeah, it was a good time all in all. It was real peaceful out there. Tom's best spring after the first weekend and it kind of cleared out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. What you got to say about Bryce Canyon? It was beautiful. Um, good park to see and good hiking. And eat, not, not too hard hiking, I should say. Yeah, the hiking wasn't bad. Yeah. I will say Bryce Canyon isn't a really a big area, so no. it's not an area you need to dedicate a lot of time to. A couple days and you could probably really yeah. get a hang of it yeah it's not a big big national park yeah. so it's not like a zion or a yellowstone or even an arches yeah. um i think you could do bryce canyon and knock it out and see what you need to see if you want to just you know see the sites in probably two days easily yeah so that's all, all I right got. 
That's all I got too. Enjoy the rest of the video. On Labor Day, our second day in Bryce Canyon. Heading down Navajo Loop Trail to go to Peekaboo Loop Trail. And we'll do about seven or eight miles today. Explore mostly down at the bottom of the canyon. Um, the reason why we're starting here at Sunset Point to Navajo Loop is because I guess at the other end the trail is closed so there's no access to Peekaboo Loop. So we get a little bit of extra hiking. But it's a beautiful day as you can see. And it should be beautiful views. We actually went down Navajo Loop the other day when we were exploring our initial visit here. What you got? <laughs> Nothing. Hi, y'all. All right, all right, all right. <laughs>